Is this a local top for the Euro USD or is the market about to break out? That's what we're answering in today's video. I'm also going to give you an update on the US dollar index, the DXY, and the potential for a local bottom there. So I'm going to talk through all the details in today's video, including key levels and potential targets. Now, if you guys do want my help with your trading, including lifetime access to the course that I just launched and also the real-time trading group, click on the link at the top of this video, and that's going to give you 90% off lifetime access to both the course and the real-time trading group where I've active every single day. In fact, I think I've posted probably 20 plus times already today. And I also share daily videos there that you can only get there, exclusive setups, and you'll also see my trades in real time. That includes entry, stop loss, and take profit. So if you're here on YouTube, click on the link in the description of this video, or if you're on the website, click on that link that says join VIP. Okay, so the EURUSD daily timeframe, we've seen this market come off of this 2021 trend line up here. And this is something that we've talked about here over the past couple of weeks. Now, you can also see where the market has been coiling between these two levels here over the past year and a half or so. Okay, so we know that this market is coiling into the apex of this pattern. And right now, again, the market is coming off of this trend line. So if we go back here, you can see where this was actually a daily uh, fake out. And you can see where we had resistance here and resistance here once again last week. Okay, so we know that the market is coming off of this level, very similar to what we saw back here. But like I've mentioned in the last couple of videos, this right here is not necessarily a confirmed short setup. Because even though a market is testing a level like this, it doesn't mean that you simply, you know, blindly short the market just because you don't know if the market is going to hold there. Or better said, you don't know that sellers have taken over. Okay, the sellers have taken control. Okay, so, you know, you could get a retest up here like this only for the market to pull back slightly and then come up here and take out early shorts, or you could just simply get a breakout, right? So you have to wait for some type of confirmation to show that sellers have regained control. And for that, like I mentioned recently, if you look back here in March, I'm going to use this as an example because I think this price action following the retest up here is a perfect example and also very similar to what we're seeing here so far this month. Okay, so we got the retest up here, very similar to back here. The market went sideways for a few days, also went sideways for a few days. And now we're starting to see the market break down a little bit. Also very similar to back here. So notice based on this closing price right here. Okay, we had the market break down and then come back and retest that level and then sell off. So like I've said recently, this breakdown right here and retest, this was the confirmation that sellers had taken over following the retest of that 2021 trend line. Okay, so very similar here. We have the retest up here. We've got our key level established down here at 1.086. And that's based on this pivot right back here. So closing prices through here, right around 1.0865. You've also got this high here. And then we've got this closing price down here closer to 1.086. Okay, so as of now, the euro is starting to break down. However, it is very, very marginal. Okay, so this is where, in my opinion, you need something a little bit more convincing because notice back here, once the euro broke down, there was no question that this candle right here broke this consolidation following that retest. Okay, no question at all. And right now, yesterday's close, today's session, I mean, they're both right there at that key level. So in my opinion, you need something more convincing down here in this area to really tell you that the market has broken down from this pivot and also to flip this area to new resistance. Okay, so shorty right now is, in my opinion, a little bit premature. And, you know, we do need that extra confirmation and the thing to understand too is that a lot of times when you get a breakdown like this, you know, a lot of people get in early because they don't want to miss the trade, right? But we also call that FOMOing. And you can see back here that there was no reason to FOMO because the market came back up here and retested this area. So we could get something very similar where if, okay, it's still a big if, but if this does break down, you know, close down here somewhere over the coming days, then we most likely get a retest up here in this area before we get that rotation lower. So this is what you want to look for following that extra confirmation. Now, of course, this might not work out at all. The euro could just close back above here, continue to consolidate, and then break out, right? But this is also going to depend on the DXY that we've talked about. So let's flip over there and talk about the US dollar index. So in 2024, we have seen the DXY move higher, right? We have higher highs and higher lows. And this right here is what I've discussed all year. You can see that there are several fake outs on this chart that we've also talked about here over the past you know few months all year long and those fake outs that i'm referring to you can see the low right here we had the close below and then the reclaim okay now you could call this a fake out you can call it a reclaim 
either way, okay, this retest right here, this is when I was getting bullish on the dollar at the start of 2024. And you guys have been along for the ride. We've talked about all of this as it has unfolded. Now you can also see over here, same exact thing. We got the close below this key area. And we talked about this in real time as well. This close right here is when I once again got bullish. So when you look at this price action that we've had here recently, okay, let me clean this up so you guys can see it. So the price action recently is interesting in the sense that this is exactly what the DXY has done all year long. And what I mean by that is over here, you can see we had this key area right here. The DXY broke below, okay, consolidated, closed back above. That right there was your trigger to start getting bullish on the dollar again. And we had a nice move up following that. Now you can even see we had a bearish one over here, okay, key level right here. We had the close above, close back below, and we got a pullback. Okay, so I think that this price action here below 105 is really interesting because there is no question this is a key level that the DXY recently lost. Okay, so we can sit here and talk about 104 all day long and the fact that the market is coming off of channel support, but really there is no confirmation that a low is in place until we get a close back above 105. If we were to get that, then I think the DXY is set up to move higher, you know, potentially much higher up toward 107 and potentially even 109 to 110 later this year. But it has to reclaim 105 on a daily closing basis for that to set up. Okay, so right now we do have a tentative reclaim back above 104.52. But again, this area up here, 105, is the big one that the DXY has to reclaim. Of course, if we were to see the DXY break down from this 2024 channel, then that would be bearish for the US dollar. Okay, so when we combine this with the Euro USD, we know that the DXY has to get above 105 in order to flip bullish, okay, over the coming weeks. So when we go back to the Euro USD, and this kind of supports the idea that you need something convincing here from the Euro, similar to what we got back here, okay? We need something very convincing down here to show us that this has broken down, and then we get that retest for the move lower, because something like this, okay, a move like this back here, this red candle for the Euro, if we got something similar where the euro is closing back down here, then there is a good chance that the DXY is also reclaiming 105. Okay, so it's that extra bit of confidence for a euro USD short, okay, a swing short for the move down here toward some of these lows, like 1.073, potentially even this trend line, this long running trend line down here around 1.065. All right, so again, we have the very early stages of a potential local top but I do want to see something more convincing from this market. And specifically, I want to see the DXY get above 105 to really confirm that this is a swing low, very similar to what we had back here. If it can't do that in this area down here, just above 104 fails, then of course that would be bearish for the dollar. But like I've said over the past few months, since the start of 2024, we have seen higher highs and higher lows for the DXY. So I'm cautiously bullish on the dollar once again, as I have been all year at these points. Okay, but again, we do need that extra confirmation. But I will say that anybody shorting the dollar right here while it's above the bottom of this channel is shorting right into support, which is always ill-advised. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for notifications. Don't forget too to claim your 90% off lifetime access to the VIP real-time trading group and also course. See the link in the description of this video or if you're on the website, click on that link that says join VIP. I will see you on the inside. Trade well out there and I will talk to you again tomorrow.